hello my dear friends uh, welcome back to my channel i uh, hope you are all doing well and hope your uh, preparation is going well over here okay so this is the model question paper one uh, for the triple e stream students third semester okay the mathematics subject uh, today i will be explaining in this video uh, the question from the prob probability chapter okay model fifth question number 10 b as question number 10 a is the theoretical part i hope uh, you have cleared that theory over there okay as in the video the purpose of VTU is to train the students uh, to cover the theoretical portions. Okay, so <clears throat> I believe that you have covered that particular portion, theory portion. Now I will be solving the question on this particular concept that is your t distribution. First of all, let me tell you wherever you will see this t at 0 0.05, this is called the 5% table of significance. Wherever you will see this t at 0 0.05 or 0 0.01, that is the t distribution problem. You should remember this one. Okay, so this model is purely based on. Uh, formulas okay you need to remember the formula no no need to remember actually you will be provided with the handbook in the examinations okay so uh, what is the procedure for t distribution i will tell you so a random sample of 10 boys had the following iq 70 120 110 101 88 83 95 98 107 100 so these are the iqs of the students and make sure uh, these uh, students are not from the VT University. Okay, if, uh, the students will be from VT University. Those uh, students will not be having this much IQ. Okay, I'm not blaming you, uh, but VT has that particular system of education. So, does this data support the hypothesis that the po population mean of IQs is 100 at 5% level of significance? Okay, so while writing writing down the solution, there are two formulas which you uh, should use in this particular concept T distribution. So, see, these are the IQs. I may call it x over here so x is equal to data of iqs of the students i will write it as x okay and the sample of 10 boys so sample is denoted by n over here so n is equal to 10 and x i may call this particular observation over here right so then you need to calculate the mean which is x bar okay it is the x bar which we calculate from the given observation that is represented as x bar okay and the given mean is represented by uh, mu over there see here a random sample of 10 boys had the following IQs. Does this data support the hypothesis of the population mean IQ? So this mean is represented by mu. Later on I will tell you. So this is given by 100. So first of all X bar which you are calculating for, from the given observation that you should represent with X bar which is equal to 1 upon N summation of X. So N value is 10. So 1 divided by 10 summation of X. X means this one. 70 plus 120 plus 110, 101, 88, like this one. Okay, you have to add this one. This is called the summation of x. So that is what I have written in this particular bracket over here. So when you just calculate it, you will get 1 upon 10. This much you will get 972. So 972 divided by 10, you will get 97.2 over here, right? So then there is the formula for variance, which is also called as, uh, sorry, uh, this is uh, represented as s square or sigma square. Okay. So you will uh, be confused if you just see in the model question paper or somewhere else in the solution part. Don't be confused. It is represented as S square or sigma square, which is given by 1 divided by n minus 1 summation of x minus x bar whole square. So n is given in the problem 10. So 1 divided by 10 minus 1 is 9. Summation of x minus x bar whole square. You have to take the summation of like this one. X is here. X bar you have calculated here, right? So I will make it box over here. This is your x value this is your x bar value okay <clears throat> so x x is 70 and x bar is 97.2 so 70 minus 97.2 whole square as in the formula you have to take x minus x bar whole square okay plus 120 is the x value and x bar is 97.2 so 120 minus 97.2 whole square plus 110 minus 97.2 whole square 101 minus 97.2 whole square 88 minus 97.2 whole square then 83 minus 97.2 whole square 95 minus 97.2 whole square likewise you have to take the summation of x minus x bar i hope uh, this is clear right then we have the formula see here first we will calculate the sigma square which is equal to once you will calculate this much in the calculator over here you will get 1 upon 9 into 18,083.6 okay so Sigma square is equal to by calculating this much you will get 209.28. Sigma is equal to root of 209.28. So 
so you will get sigma is equal to 14.46 this is called the standard deviation sigma square is called the variance and sigma is called the standard deviation so now in the given problem we have to check that does this uh, data support the hypothesis that the population mean of iq is 100 as i earlier told, told you this 100 this mu is represented by uh, sorry this uh, mean is represented by mu okay so it is given in the problem and we have the formula in the t distribution t is equal to x bar minus mu divided by sigma upon root n so t is equal to x bar we have calculated here 97.2 so 97.2 minus 100 divided by sigma already calculated 14.46 divided by root n n means sample number that is 10 so divided by uh, 10 you will get t is equal to minus 0 0.62 so in the problem it is given t at 0 0.05 it is also called as 5 percent level of significance the value is 2.26 so as 0 point sorry minus 0 0.26 is less than the 2.26 therefore your conclusion should be your hypothesis is accepted in this case okay if you are getting value less than the given value that hypothesis is accepted if you are getting the value here suppose more than 2.26 in that that particular case your hypothesis will be rejected so this is the way this is the procedure for this particular problem in the t distribution i hope this is clear clearly understood to you people so make sure uh, you will uh, comment down if you have some if you have some queries if you have some doubts okay you can ask it in the comment section and thanks for watching the video i wish you all the best for your examination